There is a reason that we got up this early. I genuinely could not sleep last night because first and foremost, happy first day of Halloween. And also the first day of the 13 nights of our Poe crochet and knit along countdown starts today. I just wanted to get going on it. If you have made it this far and you haven't opened any of the bags in here, like you probably opened up the box, like I get that, but all the bags that are in here are totally unopened. Give yourself a high five, a pat on the back, a sticker, something like that. I know that was such a tall order and some of you have gotten your box like, a long time ago, like weeks almost. I know mine has been sitting here and staring at me, so again, high five. Actually, let's cheers. I have my pumpkin spice latte, so cheers to that. Welcome to the 13 Nights of Poe. Which means we get to open this. We get to see the very first clue for today. Right on top, we have our little card for the first day clue. If you are opening the knit version, yours is gonna look as close as possible to mine, other than right here where it says crochet. Obviously, it's gonna say knit. There's not gonna be a crochet needle. And our little buddy here is gonna have knitting needles instead of a crochet hook. Can we give it up for this picture right here? The colors, the theme, the everything. Oh my gosh, I just love this so much. So I hope that even after our project is done, you will keep this card. And we're, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. We're gonna get to that. But let's flip it around. And we need to find the first day. Here is bag number one. Little skull action, crochet hook. And it is squishy, which means first day is crimson colored yarn. Any guesses? of what the name of this is because Sarah of Muse2320 went all the way out on this. It is named Nevermore. I'm sure just like me, you are having so many ideas jumping into your head right now of different projects that you wanna use this yarn for, even though we already have a set project with this and it's gonna be killer. I just, I'm obsessed with this yarn, the crimson, the tweed that runs all throughout it. Oh my gosh, it's just, Sarah has outdone herself. It is absolutely incredible. Dark bits of the tweed, it just really pops against the crimson. <sighs> Obviously my favorite colors, so I was bound to love this from the start. On the back of the card, we have everything that we need for the first day's clue, including a little chit chat about the yarn. This is a Muse 2320 Weaver Bird and the colorway is Nevermore, 85% Superwash Moreno Wool. And now here, again, if you didn't see my video before, I am human and I made a mistake on this. It tells you that you need a five millimeter crochet hook. That is incorrect. It is a four millimeter crochet hook. It does say or size to obtain gauge. So even if you're starting with a four millimeter crochet hook and you're like me and have really, really loose tension, I highly suggest paying attention to the gauge here. There is a four by four inch square which equals 16 stitches by 18 stitches. You might wanna do that up a little bit and measure it, or you can just hang out with me a little bit longer. I'm gonna show you how I get started on this. Then we're gonna measure everything and then go from there. Depending on what you have going on for the rest of the day, you could get this entire first part of the pattern done today, have it ready to go. Just another reminder, this is through and through a mystery box. So we are getting bits and pieces of the pattern that we're going to be putting it together. Let's get going on this very first part. Don't forget to bring your coffee with me. And yeah, it's officially starting. Throwing mine in a yarn bowl, honestly, I don't even think you have to because of how little it is. And depending on where you're going to be working this up, you might not even want to. This is just a new yarn bowl to me. I haven't used it yet. Felt like it was a perfect time to do it, so there we are. Okay, so starting with chaining 64 stitches, I'm gonna be using my wooden crochet hook too. It doesn't really matter. Again, I just kinda am doing everything together for the theme. Just went together with the rest of the project. 
I would just get going on your normal tension, how you work everything up and grab a tape measure too. So that way we can measure at the end. Here is the beginning of our foundation chain. What is gonna happen is we're going to fold this in half after we have done a couple more steps. So that is what the measurement is here. Like this is what we're going off of this eight by nine. So if you wanna do a double check of measurement, go ahead and do that. Next, we have chain one turn project, single crochet, 64 stitches. So essentially we have 65 stitches. Then in this next stitch from the hook, working a single crochet. And just continuing to do that all the way across one single crochet in each of these chains. For rows one through 45, we're gonna repeat this, chain one, turn the project, single crochet in those 64 stitches, continuing to build up our project, obsessing over this color of yarn, squishing the yarn, taking pictures of the yarn. Don't forget, hashtag 13 nights of Poe. Let's just fill the feeds up with this beautiful yarn that was designed to be shown off. It really is, like it's a statement piece. As for the bags, don't get rid of these because we are going to put these all together and create a junk journal. So I have a bunch of stickers here. If you haven't checked out my blog page, you're definitely going to want to do that today because I have all of these freebie printouts. You can put them on the inside, on the outside, cut them all up, do all the things to them. But I like them with the lines and everything on it. Really what this is designed for is to hold all of our pieces of the pattern so that way we don't lose it. Every time I see a sticker, I pull it off very carefully. But if you didn't, you just like ripped it, got into it totally understand. That is totally fine. Um, I think I'm gonna pull this off very carefully and probably put it on the outside actually for each day. Yeah, to tie everything together, I do have just a little cotton yarn, but the other day I purchased these pumpkin rings and they are just too freaking cute and I have a couple of them left. So that is how I'm gonna attach mine all together a little stamp action, as well as a ton of washi tape that I've been obsessed with lately. So it's just gonna cover every single page of my junk journal. This is one of those just have fun with it type of projects. There is no right or wrong way to do it. You can cover it in stickers, cover it in washi tape like I'm gonna do, or you can go for a minimalistic look as well. If you happen to power through the pattern today, it's just another fun activity to keep up that positive Poe spooky energy going all day. So just keep going with that, building up your project. I am gonna be posting as soon as I finish this today, I'm gonna be posting on my Instagram if you wanna follow me over there. This is all I have planned for the day. So I'm gonna finish this first part of the pattern and post a picture as soon as it's done. I have some music all prepped and ready to go. Also, okay, yes, also, if you have not seen the movie The Raven, we're watching that today. Where is it streaming? Because I know it's everywhere. It's here. It's free on YouTube, also Pluto TV, Amazon Prime. So let's do that. Let's watch The Raven today and work up this first part of our 13 Nights of Poe. Again, I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to each and every one of you that has joined me and Sarah on this project. It would not be fun doing this by myself. It really is just so much better <laughs> when we craft together, crochet, knit, all of the things. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and following along for these next 13 nights. It is time, however, for me to warm up my pumpkin spice latte. Oh yeah, also let me know what type of drink are you gonna be drinking for this entire project? I know I'm gonna switch it up between two different things, but I'm starting it off with a pumpkin spice latte. It just felt right. 
it's the start of a new project, the start of a new month, and it's the first day of Halloween. So pumpkin spice latte it is. Again, thank you for hanging out with me today. I will be back tomorrow to unbox the second bag and continue on our 13 Nights of Poe journey. Let me grab my cup right here. Have a fantastically spooky time with your project. Leave me those pumpkin emojis in the comments below and I will see you all tomorrow.